Okay, let's do this. You already filming already? Great, amazing. Three, two, one. Action. I'll cut that part off. Hey, YouTube. As you can see, we're not on the streets filming a Vancouver talk. We are in a top secret location filming part of this video and as part of this new series we're doing. We haven't had a name for this new series yet. If you watch this video and other ones that come after this video, do you think of a name? Comment below. We might even use that name or we might not. It's okay if you get rejected. I always get rejected. This is definitely not an M Square Visits. So yeah, we kind of threw that one out of the door <laughs> really quickly. We ask you, what's this new segment series all about? Filming informative videos with our opinions, reviews mixed in of things, events, places, everyday stuff that we're gonna explore. We're gonna film it and try to help you guys out to have a feel of what Vancouver is to us or how we perceive Vancouver and maybe help you out if you do come to Vancouver. And who knows where we go from there because when we started Vancouver Talks, it went everywhere. Today's video is about Halloween in Vancouver. So this year, Halloween lands on a Thursday. We are here filming on the weekend before Halloween. We are also filming on Thursday too. It's gonna be short to the point. <laughs> Unlike this intro to this video. <laughs> What is it like to celebrate Halloween in Vancouver? It's strange that we say celebrate, but we kind of do in Canada and Vancouver. Halloween's not a holiday for us, but people love it so much that take time to actually celebrate it. For the people overseas, have you ever heard of trick-or-treating? It's where people have their houses set up for Halloween, have candy and stuff, kids knock on the door and give candy out. You can still go trick-or-treating at any age. Just make sure you have a kid with you. Preferably Yeah, exactly. Preferably your own. Or you can rent one. For adults that don't go trick-or-treating, they most likely go to either a private party or a house party or a party that their friends put together, families or even work put together. Where you bring your own costume and you have this whole celebration food, all that kind of stuff. If you are new to Vancouver and don't have friends, you can go downtown Vancouver Granville Street. Keep in mind, because Halloween lands on a Thursday this year, the weekend before Halloween, Granville Street, there might not be a, that many people wearing costumes. There will be people for sure. The nightclubs and the pubs, people are gonna go. So the street's gonna be busy. Generally, you have a bunch of options. One, you can go into a nightclub, two, pub or bar. Or if you don't want to pay any money for any of those, you can just hang out on Granville Street and just people watch. There's definitely people hanging on Granville Street. So let's talk about the nightclub. The weekend before is packed. Most of the clubs sell tickets and it's preferably that you buy the tickets ahead of time because they'd be cheaper ahead of time. If you buy them near the night of the event, it's going to be more expensive. The prices go up. And if you buy it at the door, the prices definitely definitely the highest you could possibly get those tickets at online is your best bet most of these uh, nightclubs sell tickets online nightclub lineups nightclubs always have lineups doesn't matter what city you're in vancouver is no exception to that during the weekend before halloween the clubs are going to be pretty darn busy generally most clubs open at 10 p.m so your best bet is to come early as possible to 10 p.m and get in line so you're not waiting 30 minutes to an hour in line to get into the club. Even if you had a ticket in hand, you're still waiting in line because their entry is either through one or two doors and they can't let everybody storm the doors. Most of these clubs actually hold the line to make the club look like it's busy, to draw in more people to the lineup, right? Because what's the commotion about, oh, there's a lineup, whoa. But if you're a pretty girl, you know, and walk your way to the bouncers, they might let you in. I'm not a pretty girl, <laughs> I'm gonna get in. Bars and pubs, I believe most of them do not have a cover charge. They may charge it if it gets busy or they think they're gonna get busy. For the most part, we what we can see on the street uh, this year is a lot of the bars and pubs don't have lineups. It's just mainly the nightclubs. Costumes are usually optional, but if you don't, you know, you know be festive. Be a costume, right? Not those like last minute costumes where you kind of go to like a dollar store and pick up a mask. You could, why'd you even bother? Why did you even bother buying one of those costumes? Prices for nightclubs during Halloween, look at $30 and up. And the closer you get to the night, the more expensive the tickets are gonna be. There's also a high chance that tickets get sold out. And if you're poor like me, and don't wanna spend money at a nightclub, bar, or pub, Granville Street, just wander it up and down. We filmed pretty much the main block of Granville Street that's the most busiest with the most pubs and bars. So after you're completely party out, how do you get home? 
you're completely wasted. There is a few options. Taxi, obviously. You can hail a taxi. Good luck with that. Uber and uh, Lyft are not fully implemented here in Vancouver yet. We have a Vancouver taxi deal, but that, we'll check it out. I'll link it in the end screen and in the description. When that comes out, it'll be quite easier to get back home. Public transits. The last sky trains are after 1 a.m. for both the Canada and Expo line. There's also night buses. Vancouver transit has changed where the night buses go. It used to be on these separate streets, but now they moved them all into one location. And it's on the corner of West Georgia and uh, Gravel Streets. After you're done, just go there. I have a link in the description. It shows the last bus for each bus number. And the buses go from downtown and spread out all of the lower mainland. Vancouver, Burnaby, Coquitlam, Surrey, Richmond. If you have any questions, comment below. Anything you want to wonder about, anything that you want us to explore. It doesn't matter if it's Vancouver related, something that you saw online. If it's within reason, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll try it out. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Check out the Vancouver Talk videos or other Instagram videos. And if you want to be really, really bored and nothing else to do, check out Cute.